explain what the photo is that you're getting as a gift. At this time, Jim Veneman, a professor from Union, special professor, he is my photography professor, um, is going to explain what the photo is as well as show a small the video. Said, hey, mom, mom made you some sandwiches and said pass them out. And so the boy opens up a roast beef sandwich and it has mayonnaise on it. So he immediately calls his mom and says, Mom, did you put mayonnaise on roast beef? And she said, yes. And he goes, well, nobody in this car is going to eat that. And uh, she's thinking, you know, you could have said, thanks, Mom, or, or something like that. How many of you know that that would have been a good time to cuss? You know, if I'd have been the mom. And I think God gives moms at least one a week. I don't know. I can't prove that theologically. But, uh, or maybe lay hands on him suddenly and repeatedly. I don't know. But before we criticize that son too much, we need to check our own gratitude quotient. Because I think all of us could uh, learn to be more appreciative. I think all of us, a few years ago when 9-11 happened, uh, there was a display of patriotism across this city and across this country, unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime. But you know, 9-11, we still pause to think about it. And maybe when we see pictures like this, it, it reminds us. But, but yet, very few people fly flags today. Very few people really take the time to stop and thank the Lord and, and thank the veterans that have served. I want to look at that as the very first trip that we took about 20 years ago now. We went to Romania and Ceausescu had just been overthrown the year before. So they were kind of in the struggle of not living under communism but not knowing how to appreciate democracy. And it was a very chaotic time for them. And, and uh, we stayed with the young lady uh, and her husband that uh, had learned English by watching But she asked, she asked Nancy one day, they kind of got connected, and as it's easy to do with Nancy, she's such a sweetie. And I got her. <laughs> but anyhow, she, uh, she asked Nancy, she said, why, in her broken English, she said, why some people born in America and others born in Romania? How do you answer that? You know, I mean, the, the question is loaded with meaning. Why have you experienced the freedoms and the prosperity and the success that you have while we, all of her life, had lived under one of the cruelest communist regimes that the world had ever seen? We need, lest we forget, to realize how great this land is. Amen. And then secondly, lest we forget the God who's given us this land. Uh, I, you know, I'm not only a patriot, a, a, a fanatic about patriotism, but I'm a, I'm a fanatic about God and country. Because while this country is open to people of all beliefs and all races and all faiths, and I think it ought to be that way, I, I, I thank God and I believe with all of my heart that our history shows that God helped in the beginning of this nation. And it will show again that He will help again if we'll humble ourselves and if we'll look to His help. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10,